Phyllis Diller made Americans laugh for nearly 60 years. As we told you earlier, she died in Los Angeles Monday at the age of 95. Before we speak with her friend and colleague Joan Rivers, Bill Whitaker looks back at a comedy pioneer who loved life and loved to laugh. For Phyllis Diller, comedy was not pretty. I am in the 14th year of a 10-day beauty plan. <laughs> it was sarcastic, self-deprecating, and funny. I do dinner in three phases, serve the food, clear the table, bury the dead. Phyllis Ada Driver was born in 1917. She was a housewife and a mother until her then-husband, who was unemployed, forced her in her late 30s to become a comedian to support the family. Someone had to make a living. Turned out it had to be me. I have a theory that to make a comic, you have to have suffer some kind of a, a, an abandonment or loss or lack in childhood. I was raised on fear uh, all my life. She was a hit doing stand-up in clubs around the San Francisco Bay Area. Then, discovered by Bob Hope, Diller started doing TV with early appearances on Groucho Marx's You Bet Your Life and the game show What's My Line. Soon, she was on TV and in nightclubs everywhere. I was actually the world's ugliest baby. When I was born, the doctor slapped everybody. Or her mythical husband, Fang, a creation that was only an extreme exaggeration of two of her real-life husbands. The last time there was a gleam in Fang's eye, there was a short in his electric blanket. <laughs> That's my real laugh. In the beginning, it was nerves. Nerves. Just, you know, when people are nervous, they giggle. Phyllis Diller did a few movies with Bob Hope, but mainly stuck to what she knew best. And it might surprise you that one of the things she knew best was playing the piano. But what we knew best were the outrageous outfits, the proud admissions of plastic surgery, one of the first celebrities to do so, and the non-stop one-liners. I'm in such bad shape, I wear prescription underwear. Phyllis Diller paved the way for countless female comedians and always had the last laugh. For CBS This Morning, Bill Whitaker, Los Angeles.